Uh, this is my Lee's Lift version 3. It's a funicular railway powered by water. Uh, the originals are in Folkestone on the south coast of England and uh, in Linton, Linmouth in Devon on the west coast of England. The original is powered by water, but obviously I can't do that, so I've used steel balls. The cars are filled with balls and when they become heavy enough, they ride down the ramp under their own weight and also at the same time they pull up the other car. There are two bucket chains, a small one here. and a long one here that raise the balls back to the top of the lift so that the next car can go down. There's just one motor. It runs an intermittent drive, moves the buckets one at a time at the end of this long ramp and at the same time the ball gate just allows one ball into each bucket. There's a similar setup here for the short bucket chain an intermittent drive for the bucket chain itself and then the gate is operated by this simple mechanism here. There's a bar at the bottom of the car, the plastic bar, which is raised to let the balls out. This is done by this faceplate that rotates clockwise, lifts up the crank, which in turn moves the small crank. That's a custom built piece I've made myself. That transfers the motion to the small crank on the car that lifts the bar and lets the balls out in little groups. If they all came out at once, it would overwhelm the uh, space available and the balls would spill out everywhere. So it just lets out about a dozen at a time. In theory, it actually is a bit more random than that. There's a small mechanism here run by the eccentric that just gives the balls a nudge with this little axle because sometimes they get stuck at this point and two of them jam up in the guide so the little axle just moves back and forth and gives them a push to get them moving again. The model is controlled manually with these two levers. This is similar to how the real thing works. The lever on the left operates the brake release for the cars. Here's the brake holding up the car to stop it rolling down the ramp. The other lever 
tilts this ramp, I can show it, tilts the ramp to direct the balls into the proper car and at the same time it operates a switch to run the motor. There is a air brake here that controls the speed of the descent of the cars. It's run from the main pulley. It's geared up with two five to one gear pairs that uh, speed it up by 25 to one. And uh, that controls the rate at which the cars go down the ramp. Uh, here's the motor. It goes through a two to one reduction gear and then through the intermittent drive. So the shaft revolves just half a revolution. Then there's a two to one or one to two pair of gears that uh, causes the main shaft to revolve just one turn and then a pause so the buckets arrive at the end of the ramp and then they wait while the gate allows one ball to drop in at the top the ball throws the ball onto this little chute here which sends it onto the ramp and then it just pushes the ramp out of the way as it goes down. This is a similar setup. An intermittent drive from the main drive. Then it's geared up one to two. So this shaft does one revolution and then pauses. That moves the buckets to the right position and then they wait while the ball gate puts one ball into each bucket. This is just a very simple mechanism to give the balls a little nudge because sometimes they get stuck at this point where the, uh, the ball guide narrows down. Here, as the faceplate goes round, the threaded pin lifts this little arm, which lifts this one too, this uh, mini crank that I made myself. And that releases the balls onto the chute. When the car is empty it lifts it off the rails but when there are a lot of balls in the car it's heavy enough that that doesn't happen. So this is how it works. Now maybe we can uh, see it in action. So when the car is heavy enough which is just decided by the operator. Uh, he'll he'll stop the uh, water pump or the ball pump in our case and release the brake. and the car will descend under its own weight to the bottom still a little bit too fast but um, it'll have to do the s speed of the uh, descent of the car is controlled by this air brake here 
Get it going. And now we can start the pump again and move the lever the other way. So the balls have been let out of the uh, car in groups which were meant to be all the same, but as you can see, it's a bit random. And I obviously have a beat on there as the balls are falling out. And now the balls are being lifted up by the short bucket chain they're traveling down the long ramp or falling out whichever you like going into the long bucket chain And at the top, you come out and go into the white car. And when that's heavy enough, that will descend to the bottom. I'm now going to do exactly the same as they did with the Lee's lift. The one at uh, Hastings. I'm going to take out all the crazy ball stuff and electrify it and I think it'll be a lot simpler and a lot more reliable and I'll be able to add a few more bells and whistles I hope. Okay, thank you for watching.